Hello and welcome to my first official recorded playthrough video of Amnesia the Bunker. This isn't a blind playthrough, obviously, because I've played Amnesia the Bunker in several streams, uh, beginning on the release date, and I just played it, like, three or four times on different difficulties, just to get a feel of all the difficulties and how it affects the gameplay, and, uh, also just getting used to the mechanics. Uh, before doing an actual official playthrough video because I don't want to embarrass myself too much with like lording the ropes of the game um, That might be a look down upon because um, I know a lot of people do like blind playthroughs so Actually, let me know in the comments below if I should just play uh, Video games as a blind recorded playthrough instead of streaming it a few times and then doing a playthrough I'm still trying to figure out uh, how I'm gonna do my formula for playthrough videos on this channel but I will say that I do enjoy doing recorded playthrough videos from time to time yeah I'm not gonna ramble on too much I wanted to do this recording in 4k but I had a lot of performance issues so instead I'm gonna do this at 2k at 60 frames per second for the most part the game should be at 60 frames per second but there will be some frame drops here and there and it'll be at like 30 frames per second at times uh, but if I do a recording in 2K, then it'll be using the VP9 codec instead of the AVC codec. And the AVC codec just compresses dark gameplay videos way too much, where it's just a blurry mess and you can't make out anything. Um, so the VP9 codec should make this like watchable um, visually. I also... What was I trying to say? Yeah, I, I increased the gamma on just OBS so that the dark scenery isn't so splotchy on YouTube because YouTube likes to compress it even if it does use the VP9 codec. So I don't know why I'm getting into all the technical stuff for this video. But what I'm trying to say is I want this video to be as crisp and clear as possible because um, I want to use this gameplay in my dissection video that will be on my main channel where kind of like a review um where i also compare and contrast with previous amnesia titles and talk about amnesia the bunker itself and kind of review it and give my own thoughts about the game i'm going to be playing on the hard difficulty and i'm not going to do this in one go in one sitting uh, because i found that doing gay bleh, doing gameplay videos in episodes is a lot it's just a better idea for me because if something goes wrong with the recording and it's only 30 minutes, it isn't that much of a big deal. It's frustrating, but it, it, it isn't like recording a four hour playthrough video and then realizing there was something wrong with the audio or something wrong with the video after recording four hours of a video game. So yeah, uh, I think from now on, I'm going to do my gameplay videos in parts. It's less daunting that way. And with that being said, this will be my non-blind playthrough of Amnesia at the Bunker on hard difficulty. Let's go ahead and get into it. I want to turn off game hints and video distortion effects because you will not be able to make out what's going on uh, with after compression. Skip intro? No. Also, my playthrough videos will be around 15 to 30 minutes, uh, depending on how long I desire to play. My audience retention is 15 minutes, though. I'm also not going to read this intro part because I've read it a billion times. So pause if you desire to read it. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'm kind of taking a break from the whole streaming thing because that's brutal. Um, streaming, my computer really dislikes streaming for some reason. I have so many performance issues with, with streaming. 
um, like when I was playing, trying to play Amnesia the Bunker on streaming, I had to play the game at 720p, 60 frames per second, instead of being forced to do 2k, 60 frames per second. So I don't know why that happens. I've played around with the settings, and I just can't figure out how to get streaming to work with modern games. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do a lot more recorded playthroughs from here on out, um, just to take a break from streaming. So far, things are running pretty smoothly. Oh, I actually didn't get- oh. Well, I didn't get hit. Never mind. Okay. I actually don't have to waste my ammo here, so I'm gonna conserve and just wait for my buddy to take care of these guys. Getting a few frame drops. Nothing too severe. Is this how you heal? And craft. Yeah, but one of the main reasons I'm doing this gameplay video is to kind of brainstorm on what I like and dislike about this game. Because I have a lot to say about this game that I can't exactly put my finger on off the bat. So I have to like write down everything um, into a script to be able to construct a video like that. You know, where I'm just reviewing the game. It almost sounds like one of the, uh, characters in Amnesia the Dark Descent where it sounds like they have, like, bubbles in their throat, you know? Yes! Like, it's hard to do an impression of his voice, but it's weird. It sounds like the dude who, uh, got attacked by the brute in the prison map in, like, the Dark Descent. The dude who goes, I, don't, I doubt it's the same voice actor, though, but... Eat that roll, my friend. There you have it, huh? Ah, fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight, then. C'est la vie. Essentially, they were gambling on their life, and Lambert lost lost the game. And now we're looking for him. I saw there's a few lore videos on the bunker, but I have not watched them. But, uh, from what I gathered, there's a lot of themes of guilt on Henry's part in this game. Regarding Lambert, obviously. Yeah, these cutscenes lagged a lot when I was trying to play this in 4K. I don't know how the fuck he got up that 
mudslide. Just hold on to me. Mud wall, whatever you want to call it. With Lambert. Adapt, experiment, and survive. Here we are. I turned off V-Sync um, because of performance issues, but hopefully I can turn it back on eventually because I, I think I'd noticed some screen tearing there. It's kind of hard to look at. 10th July 1916. Sold at Clements, admitted to medical treatment following events of 9th July. Personal effects held in the storage locker. Patient remains in weak coma state. Will respond to stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events. Had trouble recalling even his own name. Most likely due to the severity of initial head trauma. Will continue to monitor. If status if status does not improve in a week's time, recommend transfer to... I don't know how to pronounce that name. French name. For neurological tests. Signed, Dr. Jasinski. Jez Something I don't like about this game and Rebirth is when lamps are unlit, they glow. Uh, it couldn't be more obvious what is a light source and what isn't a light source, so I don't really like that feature. I can see why they added it, though, because I, I have seen gameplay videos where people struggle to realize what's a lamp that you can light and what isn't. 9th of July, 1700 hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I've done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh. The thought of eating repulses me. So I guess this is after the dice roll. I'm not really sure the how the notes are chronological or not chronological. I always skip this room, so I'm not gonna do that this time. Or miss it instead of, instead of skip it. <laughs> 14th, uh, 14th July 1916, body of Sergeant Renard, multiple lacerations, chest cavity torn to shreds, every rib cracked, skull cracked open by repeated blunt force trauma. Who could have done this to him? Brutal. Very grotesque. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm noticing anytime there's like particle effects like that, the smoke, I'm, I get frame drops. Um.
Yeah, an another reason why I want to do these gameplay videos in parts... For one thing, my audience retention is around 10 minutes to 25 minutes for gameplay videos. Depending on if it's another horror game or an amnesia playthrough. My amnesia playthroughs always get more uh, watch time. But I also want to take my time in horror games. And I feel like I can't do that when I'm trying to do one playthrough video. Because YouTube does have a limit for file sizes. And if the playthrough video is too long, then... I'm forced to chop it up in Sony Vegas, and rendering that would be a nightmare. You want to escape? You need to blow it back open. There's dynamite in the arsenal. Ah, and a handle to trigger it somewhere in the excavation site. Get them. And you can make it out. Shit. That thing, it's coming for me. Here, take this. Finish me off, please. I want to die at the hands of a border soldier, not that monster. There's ammo in the pantry. Get it. Do the job, please. I'm gonna take one of these bricks because I need to destroy that padlock and not waste my ammo. Uh, um, also, I've tested time and time again if the monster can kill you in this beginning part of the game. And it's literally impossible to die here. Unless you blow yourself up with an explosive barrel or a grenade. <laughs> then, yeah, you can. But the monster can't kill you. Uh, before you put the fixed valve to access the other areas. Important. When processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols, or locker codes. These are to be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. Alright, let's save. Update to all medical and mortuary personnel. The rat problem has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body. They're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it is burnt. So a new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. I have spoken to Father de Reyes about this matter. He will provide proper consecra consecration for the deceased. Remains will be preserved for the families. This is not ideal and it fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming, so burn them we must so that's also a hint in the gameplay if you burn the bodies with molotov cocktail or um just pouring fuel on them and lighting it i think you can do that too burning any bodies will keep rats from feasting on them obviously so that they don't block the way i didn't know that before so I can't remember who told me that, but uh, very useful information to know. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up as much as I can. I'm also going to turn V-Sync on. Because <laughs> this is kind of hard to look at.
Warning, generator fuel is extremely, extremely flammable. Do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, don't even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it in sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately, then dispose of the rags outside of the bunker. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't think that... Well, I'm sure that you can get yourself killed in the gameplay as well. Um... I'm not going to turn on the generator yet. It's a good idea to save as much fuel as you can until you absolutely need to use the generator for power. I've not seen another human for hours now. I might be the last, but in the hope that there might be another, I leave this now so you do not waste any time. This is the only exit. The only way out of this hell of our own making. It was blown- it was blown closed. It needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging. Impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels. Deeper in hell. I go now to try to retrieve them both. Though I do not know if you exist. I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. This is kind of a fucked up theme in the game where it's not only hell on the surface, but it's also hell down here. Or vice versa. <laughs> so yeah, the main goal is to blow up that cave-in. Time to venture into the dark. We gotta open these gates. I've gotta say, it is a little annoying how much you have to crank this flashlight up. I wish it was a little less... Uh... Crank intensive, you know? <laughs> Cause it does not stay lit for very long. I get why they've done it, but... Yeah. I hope this doesn't look like shit on YouTube. This is so dark. It's really hard to open shit sometimes. of July. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen and still, of course, no word. When I asked the sergeant, he shrugged, as if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. D do they know what I've done? D do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. Hmm. Something I'll get into in my dissection video for this game is that I... kind of feel like the... themes of guilt regarding the protagonists... are slowly reveal revealed in The Dark Descent a lot better. 
with uh, protagonist Daniel compared to this game. And for uh, one of those reasons being that game is just simply much longer than the bunker. And the developers were allowed to slowly reveal the story in a lot better... Oh, that's a weird glitch. In a lot better fashion than in this game, which is... The playtime of this game is like two hours versus... The Dark Descent is like eight to ten hours long. Uh, if you've never played it, that is... Alright, do we have any extra codes? Grabbers. 4530. Where did the lockers switch up? Depending on the playthrough. 3530? Wait, I already forgot. 3540? 4530. Good. Okay. Decisions, decisions. I must make a lot of them throughout this game. I would rather have a grenade. Yeah, I guess so. I can get that later if I remember. It's the locker I need to get into. I also need to get into this locker as soon as possible. That uh, allows me to open vents. Alright. Any fuel? Any shelves here? Yes, there is. Gotta drop something again. I guess that's it for now for this room. Alright. And I don't think we put anything in the storage chest yet. No. I think that's a good place to end this video off. Um, this is about the length I want to do most of my gameplay videos from now on. Uh, what else to say? Jesus Christ. Um, sorry if I'm blanking out uh, during this playthrough because I woke up not too long ago, but at the same time, I also have the most energy, I feel like, when I do my gameplay videos early, earlier in the day. But, yeah, uh, I want to do these gameplay videos around 15 to, preferably around 15 to 25 minutes, because that's usually what my audience retention is at on this channel for Amnesia gameplay videos. Um, but with that being said, uh, in my head I'm deciding whether I should do a call to action, because professionally it's a good idea to do, but for a small channel it's a little cringy. But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> but leave a like if you enjoyed this gameplay video. Give suggestions in the comments below on how I could do these videos better. In regards to my commentary. Or um, some of the technical stuff regarding my gameplay videos. Just leave any suggestions in the comments below. Let me know what you think about Am Amnesia at the Bunker in the comments below as well. And subscribe for more horror gameplay videos. Because that's all you're going to get on this channel. And with that being said. I will see you all on the other side. Goodbye.